Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing LCM and HCF problems. Uh, this is the uh, last session for LCM and HCF problems. Uh, let's see the first question in this session. If the sum of two numbers is 27, if the sum of two numbers is 27, and their HCF and LCM are 3 and 60 respectively. Here, this is the HCF and this is the LCM of uh, those two numbers. Uh, then, the sum of the reciprocals of the two numbers is, we need to find the sum of the reciprocals of two numbers. Uh, here, the first and foremost point is, whenever two numbers uh, HCF is given, then definitely those two numbers are multiples of HCF. So, I will take uh, first number as 3x, second number as 3y. Why? Because HCF is given as 3. Therefore, two numbers are multiples of uh, HCF. Uh, first number 3x, second number 3y. Here the question what he is asking. Find the sum of the reciprocals of two numbers. Uh, here the question is sum of the reciprocals of two numbers. Reciprocal of first number is 1 by 3x. And the reciprocal of second number is 1 by 3y. Sum of these two numbers, that is the question he is asking. LCM of these two is 3xy. And here we have 3x and it is y. Plus here we have 3y, here it is x. This is our required answer. If we know y plus x or x plus y value and 3xy value, that is our final result. Here, First information is given as sum of two numbers is 27. Sum of two numbers. Here these are the two numbers. Sum of these two numbers is equal to 27. You can cancel 3. 3 9 sir. From this x plus y is equal to 9. And one more is LCM of the two numbers is 60. Here the two numbers are 3x and 3y. 3x and 3y LCM is equal to. 3x and 3y LCM is equal to 3xy which is equal to that value is given as 60. Now we got x plus y is equal to 9 and uh, 3xy is equal to 60. The question is sum of the reciprocals uh, that is y plus x by 3xy. Here this value is y plus x is equal to 9 divided by 3xy which is equal to 60. So you can cancel with 3 table. 3 3 is 3 20 is 3 by 20. 3 by 20 is the right answer for this question. That is the sum of the reciprocals of those two numbers. That is answer. Let's move on to the next question. LCM of two numbers is 3 5 3 double 2. LCM of two numbers is given as 3 5 3 double 2. If the two numbers are in the ratio 1 is to 3, then find their HCF. Here, whenever two numbers ratio is given 1 is to 3, let us consider first number as x and the second number as 3x, where x is the common factor for both the numbers. Here, one information is given as LCM of two numbers. Here, LCM of x and first number and second number 3x which is equal to 3x right this value is given as 3 5 3 double 2 now from this x is equal to you can cancel with 3 table directly 1 1 and next uh, 7 and again 7 and next uh, 4 1 1 double 7 4 x is equal to 11774. Here the question is what is their uh, HCF? HCF of x comma 3x. Here the common factor in these two is x. Here the value of x which we got is uh, 11774. That is the required HCF of uh, given numbers. Uh, that is the answer for this question 11774. Let's move on to the next question. What is the difference between? What is the difference between LCM and HCF of the numbers 20, 30 and 40? Very simple. First calculate LCM of 20, 30, 40. After that, HCF of 20, 30, 
40. LCM of 20, 30, 40. Here it is 20 and 40, that is uh, 40. And next 30 and 40, 120. LCM of these three numbers is equal to 120. HCF of these three numbers. Just by observing here, 1, 0 is common for all the numbers. So, obviously, 10 is the HCF of all the given numbers. Here, LCM is 120, HCF is 10. The question is, what is the difference between those two? Difference between LCM and HCF. 120 minus 10 which is equal to 110. 110 is the difference between LCM and HCF. That is the answer for this question. Last question. See here. The LCM of two numbers is 14 times their GCD. GCD or HCF both are same. Greatest common divisor, highest common factor both are same. LCM of two numbers is 14 times of HCF and after that sum of LCM and uh, GCD which is equal to 600. One more statement is LCM plus GCD or HCF. I will take HCF which is equal to 600. If one number is equal to 280 then find the other number right here. LCM is equal to 14 HCF. Substitute LCM is equal to 14 HCF plus HCF is equal to 600. After that, 15 HCF, 14 plus 1, 15. 15 HCF is equal to 600. 15 ones are 15, 40 sir. HCF of the two numbers is 40. Now, LCM is equal to, if we substitute uh, HCF is equal to 40 here, you will get LCM. 14 into 40. 14 into 40 is equal to 14 fours, 56, 560. LCM of the numbers 560 and uh, HCF of the numbers 40. And one number is given as 280, then find the other number. Whenever if we know LCM and HCF and one of the numbers, then we have a condition that product of two numbers is equal to LCM into HCF. That is the condition of uh, product of two numbers and LCM into HCF. Here one number is given as 280. I don't know about second number. I need to calculate. LCM we got as 560. HCF as 40. Here 280, 2, 0, 560. Therefore, the second number 2 into 40 that is equal to 80. 80 is the second number. 80 is the second number. First number is 280. So, we got the second number as uh, 80. That is the answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoy the session. I hope you understand all the problems related to LCM and HCF. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for watching.